Hey gang, uh, Wendy here with Wendy Does Lots of Stuff and we are going to use the Instapot pressure cooker. It does so much more than just pressure cook. Uh, to make a couple of uh, salmon uh, fillets with some pesto butter and <laughs> I got these at the store. They come in, you know, you see them, they come in the package and they come with the butter. Uh, unfortunately, whoever sliced these Got a little aggressive, but it's okay. We're still gonna eat them. Uh, you're gonna need your trivet, one cup of water, and you're simply going to uh, generously season these with salt and pepper. I mean, it's a pretty no-brainer dish. And uh, you can use any type of seasoning. If you would like to use this as a reference for your cook time, that's pretty much what I do. So you're going to take your lid off and put one cup of water in and then rest your trivet on top uh, my it's pot is a little older so i've got one of the older trivets set that on top there and yeah i am going to keep the little flat of fat because my cat or my dogs will love it and see what I mean about whoever that was just, just went after the salmon with a hacksaw. I kind of feel bad for the fish, uh, but we're still going to eat it. All right, so you're going to go ahead. I always, I don't know what to do with the butter if I'm not cooking it in the pan. Uh, so I just add it on top of the fish. Figure it's going to be extra flavor, right? All right. Ugh. Put your lid on top secure it you'll hear the um, little song you should do and make sure your release valve is set to uh, build pressure so make sure it's not on vent you're going to set this by manual uh, for um, fresh salmon fillets about four ounces each three to four you're gonna set it for three minutes if this was frozen set it to five minutes and you're golden you can you can make some really awesome uh, frozen uh, or awesome salmon fillets from frozen relatively quickly even I mean they have those frozen pre-portioned packages uh, I use those a lot just because they're nice to keep on hand and they're super easy anyway this is gonna build up and when it's done we're gonna quick release because we don't want to overcook that salmon all right so the timer went off and uh, you've got to do a quick release on this one and I always use a towel over top just because I don't want the uh, steam all over my kitchen and <laughs> I don't know if you need to I just wash this with some water it's got water drops on it but uh, when it's a quick release I don't like getting my hand anywhere near it and yeah, the steam is still going places, but it's not got that direct splatter heading right up to my ceiling. So anyway, we're just going to let that release until it's finished. And then we'll open her up. Okay, so when you open this lid, you make sure uh, you lift it from the back first. Because there's still going to be some steam in there, and you don't want that rolling up on your face. See what I mean? Just be safe. It's not fun to get a whole face full of uh, steam. It's kind of dangerous. Actually, not kind of. It's very dangerous. Your skin will peel off. Okay, so you can see the salmon is steamed. And uh, it's looking pretty good. One little thing that I like to do, instead of fighting with the trivet, because mine doesn't have a handle, um, you know, trying to get the salmon off of it while it's still down there is a pain in the butt. Plus you lose a lot of it. So I just lift it out now. Put it on a plate. Blech. And then uh, I give it a couple of minutes to rest. And I'll take it off of there and serve it up. Tonight we are having keto cheesy broccoli with it. Should be pretty good. And that's it. If you are interested in watching more of my 365 Instapot 
Instapot Ace or Air Fryer videos for this year or for as long as I do them, uh, please like and subscribe slash follow and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.